The most touching tweet we have read in a long time comes from basketball great LeBron James. After he learned that college player Lauren Hill died today, James made a request of her. Can you please tell my grandma I said hello? Don't be afraid. She knows you because we spoke about you plenty of times. So did our Steve Hartman on the road. She was passion personified. Pure bravery bottled in a basketball jersey. At the time we met this Mount St. Joseph University freshman last October, she was already so sick she could barely dribble. But here she was at a 6 a.m. practice. One, two, three! Never give up! Lauren Hill may have had a terminal brain tumor, but dying was the last thing on her mind. Because I feel like I'd be a quitter. <laughs> her sights were set on making it to her first college basketball game. I wanted to wear that jersey and feel like a superhero again because that's how, what I feel when I put on the jersey and that number. Her number was 22, and everyone near where she lived outside Cincinnati, Ohio, would eventually come to know it. In fact, by game day, Lauren was so well known around here, folks lined the streets just to see her bus drive by. And the game itself sold out. 10,000 seats gone in an hour. It was the first game of the college basketball season, and arguably the best. Everyone expected Lauren to play just a few seconds, and no one expected her to score. But right off the opening tip, this kid, who was eligible for hospice, made her first hoop. Sports hadn't had a moment quite like that since Lou Gehrig. Today has been the best day of Her last days really were her best. After the game, she got on a Wheaties box. Her school gave her an honorary doctorate of humane letters. And most importantly to Lauren, through her Layup for Lauren Challenge and other events, she helped raise more than a million and a half dollars for pediatric brain cancer research. We gather here today. This afternoon, at a school vigil, friends got together to mourn their loss. This was the only part of dying that Lauren dreaded. She hated thinking about how sad people would be. But other than that, she was remarkably accepting of her illness. In fact, in one of her final interviews, Lauren said if someone had to get this disease, she's glad it was her. She said kids who suffer from pediatric brain cancer needed an advocate. I'm so happy to be with their voice. And I'm so happy to be fighting for them. She really was that remarkable. And I really hope that, you know, I can bring a change in the world. Lauren Hill, gone at 19, but still an undying force. Steve Hartman, on the road, in Cincinnati, Ohio. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, I'm Scott Pelley, and I'll see you Sunday in 60 Minutes. Good night.